I would say this is probably true with just about anything in life, but especially in bodybuilding, that we get so caught up in how we look and what we're achieving today that sometimes we forget to look in the rearview mirror and see where did we come from. I still have the competitive drive in me. I still feel like I haven't achieved what I'm capable of achieving in bodybuilding. You know, nothing ever really came easy for me. It took me a while to qualify for a national level show on an amateur level. It took me several times to nationals to the point where I was about ready to just say, you know, I'm, I'm done competing. I don't have what it takes. Um, and then I turned pro. Once you turn pro, that's the goal, I guess, for everybody is you want to get on the Olympic stage. So uh, it took me a couple of years longer than I would have liked uh, from the year I turned pro. It's amazing. I never thought I would be on the Olympia stage. You know, never say never. You know, my goal going into the Olympia was I wanted to make the top 10. Um, and I didn't make the top 15. You know, I didn't do great, but I made it to the Olympia stage. Well, next time I'm gonna do better. You can change your body as much as you want, Mark. Those judges, if they don't give you a comparison, it ain't for shit. You know, sitting here today, I'm not saying I'm, I'm quitting. I just have to take a hard look at, you know, where my priorities are and what's really important in life. You know, what's important to me is my family. I just don't think people understand sometimes how hard it is. I've said this before, this isn't just Mark being on stage. This isn't an individual sport. This is Mark's family having to put a lot on the line. It's just like bodybuilding. If I get fifth place and I feel like I could have gotten third, then I want to get third. You know, I might be a great father, but if I feel like I could be a better father, I won't be a better father. You know, my kids sacrificed, I sacrificed for what? I felt like there was a reason and a purpose that I was called to compete in bodybuilding. You can only control yourself and how you look and then you get up on the stage and put all your hard work into the hands of however many judges are sitting down there on that panel. You know, you got to in, in some way find meaning and enjoyment in the climb and the challenge to overcome. You know, don't give up.